say Bakata Yahawa, Bakata Yahushai, Bakata Yahawa, Bakata Yahushai, Bakata Yahawa, Bakata Yahushai. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and glory and honor to Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four candy yard to push the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shallow one. You know, this evening I want to touch on this video, you know, to edify the church. You know, because Christianity is the doctrine of devil. Christianity is the doctrine of vanity. That, you know what I mean? So, once I just want to touch on this video. It's a um, <coughs> Salaki Gino Jenin, right? Stated in this video that you can eat pork. Right, so a little video run to edify the church because this is a deceiver. This pastor is a deceiver, right? He deceiving, he leading, he leading the church in Israel astray, right? I know the Old Testament law did not allow us to eat pork. Yes. Was this law abolished? Can we eat pork today? <laughs> yes. Question is, why is it that God in the Old Testament command you to abstain from different meats? Alright, so this devil said the next devil um, member in the church asked if he could eat pork. And he said yes, right? So let me see what the Mosai Yahweh, who is the Father, who the one who is God, and Yahweh Shai, who the one who is God Jesus, which is the Son. Let's see what they say, because this is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai word. So let us let me see what they say, because this is man. We don't trust man, so we trust Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai word speak, right? So we try to say the most I change. Let's see if the most I change. Right? This is Malachi chapter 4, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. So the Lord telling him Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. I am the Lord, I change not. So the most I ain't change. Pork is abomination. Are we going to get deep down into it? Right, therefore, he sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the most I say, he changed not. The most I say, he's a man that, that he, he's a man that he should not lie, or the son of man that he should that he should repent. The most I is not a man that he should lie. If he said don't eat something, is don't eat it. Right, this law ain't changed. Let's see what son say. This is the New Testament. Here we son say, this is Matthew. The son say the exact thing what your father say. This is Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I come to destroy the law. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. So he didn't destroy, he didn't destroy the law. He didn't say he could eat pork now. He didn't say nothing about us. He didn't destroy that law. Pork is abomination, shell food. All this seafood without without scale and fin they are they are abomination. Verse 18. For a very light say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, we still see heaven and earth. We still see heaven and earth. Till heaven and earth pass, one dot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. One dot, one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled this is a straight cut to this devil christianity is the doctrine of devil you're deceiving the people you have the people committing abomination and provoking the mosai yahweh to anger this is the mosai vessel pork is an unclean meat right it's an unclean meat so we go down some more into this lesson Right? And here this devil gotta say he's a deceiver. This is a false prophet. <laughs> Why is it that in the old it wasn't just pork you had to abstain from? Certain shell fish and things of that so it was a variety of meats that God wanted you to abstain from naturally. Now let us remember that the law was a schoolmaster and it was a shadow. 
of good things to come. Now the Apostle Paul come along and teaches us they eat whatsoever sold in the shambles. Shambles mean market. But you gotta pray over it. That's right. And yeah, the shambles mean marketplace. But you're not gonna go and buy pork because you know pork unclean. You're not gonna go and buy shark because you know shark is a scavenger. You're not gonna go and buy lobster strings and all these things. You know, you know these things is abomination. You can buy meat that you can eat. Because all, var all variety of meat selling the shamble. They got they got lamb, they got chicken, they got beef, they got goat. This is meat you can eat. Fish with skin and feel. Slacky fish with skin and, and um slacky fish with, with with fin and scale. These are fish you can eat. Right? These are also sell in the shamble. Come on, this is common sense. This is common sense. So what Pastor, what Pastor Paul was saying, if any one of them bid you that believe not to a feast to war, they might got a Christmas gathering, they might have a, 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 a one of the, the pagan holiday gathering, and they bid you to and they bid you to go, the most I say go. If you feel to go, go. Eat with eat with, eat without eat eat. He said whether 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 the gift to you eat. But you're not gonna take pork because you know pork is abomination. So if they give you chicken and goat, we know that we know we know we know the sacrifice is the idols. Because Christmas is a pagan, a pagan um, holiday. All these holiday, all these worthy holidays, pagan holiday. So what Apostle Paul was saying, if they bid you to their feast, right? If you if you feel to go, go. And you can eat. Once it once once it's not abominable food, you're not gonna eat it. That's common sense. So they literally going off. They going off. You understand? They going off. Right? Get the precept, man. You know this Christianity. Christianity gone through. Right? This is a uh, First Corinthians chapter. You know. I'm gonna read it. Can they gonna bring it out too? So I'm gonna read it now. This is First Corinthians chapter ten. What twenty five? Whatsoever is sold in the shamble, that eat, ask in no conscience seek. For the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. He said, if any, if any of them bid, Salaki, if any of them that believe not, bid you to a feast, and he, and he be disposed to go, whatsoever is said before the before you eat, ask in no question for conscience seek. So if you if you say, all right, you know, celebrating birthday is abomination because it's self worship. Let's go back to idolatry. So if you say you want your family member have a birthday party and invite you to go, you feel like go, you go. They might got, they might got chicken, they might got goat, lamb, and all kind of abominable meat. They know you don't eat these things. So if they come and they say, um, I got some lamb, I got some potato fries, whatever, you eat. You give thanks and you eat. That's common sense. That is common sense. Because you know that the law said don't eat that. That's why he's saying that the, 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 the law was a schoolmaster. Right? So now you know. Now you know that you know what? The law teach you that you're not supposed to eat pork. So your law was your schoolmaster. So now you you know, you, know, you don't have to guess if you can eat that or not. You know the law said don't eat that. Is don't eat that. So you're not gonna go eat a piece of pork because he knows abomination. So these 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 devils going off, right? These are deceivers, right? Deceiving the people, right? He said, verse twenty-eight. But if any man say unto you, this is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not for his sake that showeth it, and for conscience' sake, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Yeah, because we know sacrificing to idols, because like if it says a birthday party, there's, there's idol worship, the worship of self, right? These, you, you, these, these, these um, wacky ass Christians have no business going in this Bible. The most I didn't send you all, are deceivers, right? They're just deceivers, right? And sanctify to the word of God. In prayer. So uh, now I know many of you write me and say, Well, Pastor Jennings, the devil's in the hall. 
When Jesus came to the man that was called Legion because he had devils in him, and Jesus cast the devils out, the devils went into the swine, and the swine went in the water and drowned, and that lets me know that pig is unclean. Well, if that's the reason why you won't eat hog, you better stop drinking water. Because after the devil got in the pig, the devil and the pig went in the water and drowned the hog. You go around too long without drinking water. You'll soon understand. Amen. So the Bible says, eat whatsoever, so what we so whatsoever is sold in the shambles. Will you hear this? In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, and at verse 25. Be quick. Whatsoever is sold in the shambles. Whatsoever is sold in the market. That eat. That eat. Asking no question. Asking no question. For conscience sake. For conscience sake. For the earth is the Lord. Wait a minute. The earth is who? The earth is the Lord. It's the Lord. And the fullness thereof. And everything in it. So what do unclean meat represent? The reason why God didn't want them to involve themselves in a variety of different meats that were unclean. Dealing with unclean meats represent an unclean people. That's right. Glory to God because when Brother Peter was up on the housetop, God showed Peter unclean meats. That's right. But the meats that were unclean was people. We're out of the air, creeping things. And God told Peter, rise up. Rise up. Slay. And eat. And then uh, the apostle said, uh, nothing unclean or uncommon will come into my mouth. But the Lord said, that which I have cleansed, don't you call common. So now the unclean meat in the Old Testament represent the unclean people. Because when God commanded the folk not to involve themselves in the The off. Because the meat, the unclean, this is unclean beast in the Old Testament is literally meat. But the, when, when, when the Most High show Apostle Peter the vision, he was speaking about it was speaking about the Israelite foreigners who was unclean, who mixed herself among the Gentile and, and followed the, gen, the custom of the Gentile because Cornelius was an Israelite. So there's a whole other topic. But this devil saying the, the, on the unclean men that, that it's speaking in um, Acts chapter 10 is also unclean men in, in, in the law in Leviticus, the Levitical law, right? This totally blasphemy, right? Just want to get some information quick and then go back to the scriptures. Right? This is totally blasphemy. Right? But this is just to edify the church. Right? It's a certain reason why you should not eat pig. Right? Right? Pork. It's a certain reason why you should not eat pork. Right? So I'm going to pull up this article. I'm going to read the whole article. Well, you can just type in certain reason why you should not eat pork and it can come up. And you click on it and it can show you. Right? This is totally disgusting when you read this right these things these these animal was created to be scavenger the earth right but in the congregation is a bunch of simple-minded cheeks a bunch of dummies yeah 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 a bunch of destroy all you dummies if y'all don't repent right i read from five right it's um i read from four Right, it said, uh, unlike unlike other animals, a pig does not sweat, or or perspire. It said, perspiration is a means, is a mean by which toxins are removed from the body. Since a pig does not sweat, the toxins remain within its body, and its meat. Verse five. It said, pigs, and swine are so poisonous. Right, it said that you. That you can hardly kill them with the um citrine. This word just not so lucky, right? Um, it's um. Let me get this. It was strychnine, right? It said was five. It said pigs and swine are so poisonous that you can hardly kill them with strychnine or or other poison. You can't kill them with that for verse, verse six. He said farmers will often pen up pig with within a rattles a rattlesnake nest because the pig will eat the snakes and if bitten 
they will not be harmed by the venom so pig is eat rat or snake and if the snake bitten the pig it won't be harmed by the venom this we put it in, inside your system that's why a lot of you so called negroes latinos and native american indians sick and it can't it can't be healed because you're transgressing the law of yahweh Hashem because you're following these false prophets right number seven when a pig butchered right it's a worm and insect take it take to his flesh sooner and faster than to other animals flesh in a few days the swine the swine flesh is full of worms this will you put in your system right this is what you put in your system right that's why the most i say you shouldn't eat you shouldn't eat that right but you jake simple all right just a minute you jake simple you listen to you listen to these deceivers all right now, just a minute all right it's a um yeah it says it's a swine and pig have over a dozen parasites within them such as tapeworm fluke worms um try try china try china he said there is no safe temperature at which pork can be cooked to ensure that all these parasites their psyche and eggs will be killed so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what what temperature it you heat you use it can't kill them because they got so much they got so much um dozens of parasites in them so you put in all that it within your within your body you must be sick verse 9 he said pig and meat so like he said pig meat has to as pig meat has twice as much fat as beef he said a three dozen t-bone steak contain 8.5 8.5 gram of fat a three dozen pork chop contain 18 gram of fat a three dozen beef ribs as has 11.1 gram of fat a three dozen pork steak ribs has has 23.2 gram of fat it said cow have a com complete digestive system having four stomach it said it does take over 24 hours to digest their vegetarian diet causing its food to be purified in toxins it contrasts this is a in contrast the swain one stomach take only four hours to digest his food diet turning it toxic food into meat so the meat you think that is the only toxic with all them parasites inside right it's um the swine carry about torta disease torta disease which can easily pass to the human this is why they said God command that we are not even to touch their carcass. Leviticus 11, 18. We can get into the just now. Right? He said, the chai, the chai, the chai, the china worms of the swine is um, micro, my, microscopically small. Right? Let me go into this word, right? We go into this word, right if you can see what is that right he's a deceiver that pastor is a deceiver right you deceiving the people right and this christianity right the doctrine of devil christianity is the doctrine of devil right this is what they do the deceive the deceiving the people um right china try chinese word right it say any it say any of several any of several parasitic um wrong worm of the gen of the genus it said try try i try 
try chin yellow. Right, try chin yellow. Trichinella. Trichinella, so lucky. Trichinella. He said trichinella that infect the intestines and cause trichinotus. Right? This word is trichinotus. Trichinosis. Tri yeah, trichinosis, right? Trichinosis is a disease characterized by headache, chill, fever, and soreness of muscle caused by the present of the uh, men 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 of the of the is it of the genuous um uh, trichinella in the intestines and muscle tissue so this we do to yourself that's why so much you people are sick because this is what the pig doing this is why you're not supposed to eat the pig right but you people want to follow this devil right Pastor G, Gino G, um, G, G, um, G, um, G, um, G, Jennings, Pastor Gino Jennings is a deceiver, right? That is a deceiver, right? He don't have no understanding of the scriptures. He is a deceiver, right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter six, verse thirteen. Consider the works of the Mosai, for who can make, for who can make that straight which which he had made crooked. So how you could how you could cleanse how you could cleanse an unclean, uh, unclean thing? How you could how you could make something straight with the most I make crooked? You are a deceiver, you are a blasphemer, you are a false prophet. And your congregation is a pack of dummies. Christianity is the doctrine of devil. Right? This is this is Ecclesiasticus. This is in the apocryphal for Ecclesiasticus, right? Chapter 34, chapter 34, verse 4. He said, Of an unclean thing, which can, he says, Salaki, of an unclean thing, what can be clean? So, how a pig could be clean? How the hell you can eat pig when the most I say change not? Teach him blasphemy, right? Ecclesiastes chapter 34, verse 4. Of an unclean thing, what can be clean? And from that, he said, and from that thing which is false, what is truth? Salaki. And from that thing which is false, what truth can come? So you're teaching false. What truth will come out of that? Because you're teaching false. Right? You're teaching false. Right? This is, um. let me get Job. Right? Teaching false. This is Job 14 and 4. Right? This is Job chapter 14, verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean thing? Question mark. Not one. So you can't make a pig clean. A pig is abomination. So you teach him blasphemy. I'm this again. Job chapter 14, verse 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. You cannot do that. The most I say, you change not. You teaching blasphemy. That is blasphemy, right? That is blasphemy, right? This is Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah chapter ten, verse eight. He said, "But they are, all, but they are altogether brutish. Yeah, you are foolish, ignorant, right? And foolish." He said the stock of he said the stock is a doc, the stock is a doctrine of vanity. That's Christianity. That is Christianity. Right? Like teaching te teaching teach teaching teaching um doctrine of devil, teaching light to your congregation. Right? Got them defiling the Lord Temple, your body's the Lord Temple. That's why he said don't eat pork. Right? That's why the most I said don't eat pork. And lying and said, but and lying to the congregation saying that the, the, the unclean, the unclean, the, un, the unclean men in Acts chapter 10 is the un, is, is he speaking about is, is the same, is the same as in um, Levitical law, saying the beast in Levitical law is unclean men. You is a liar. And the, and the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to skin you up. If you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. You and your whole congregation, all them bloods and they going to be on your hand. 
you got a lot to pay for because he's a, he a, he a deceiver, right? This is um. This is this is Leviticus chapter eleven verse seven. He said, "And the swine, though he divided the hoof, and be clothed footed, yet he cheweth not the cub. He is unclean unto you. Of their flesh, he said, of their flesh shall he not eat, and their carcass shall he not touch. They are unclean unto you." They are unclean unto you. And when we read Malachi, Malachi, Malachi and um, 3 and 6, the Lord said he changed not. When we read Matthew 5 and 17 and 18, Yahweh Shai said, Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophet. I did not come to destroy but to fall. I did not come to destroy the law but to fulfill. The law still stand. The law still stand. You are a deceiver and your congregation is a pack of dummies. That's what Christianity is due to you, 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 you people. Christianity is the doctrine of devil. Right? This is um Jumant of verse 9. Leviticus 11 and 9. These shall he eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever had fin and scale in the waters, in the sea, and in the river, them shall he eat. And all that have not fin and scale in the sea and in the river, of all that move in the water, and of anything which is in the water, they shall be abomination to you. Right? They shall they shall even be an abomination unto you. He shall not eat of their flesh, but he shall have their carcass in abomination. Whatsoever had no fin nor scale in the water, that shall be an abomination unto you right so you're not supposed to eat no lobster no crab and shrimps these are abomination these are these are sea cockroach right these and shark these things what these fishes was created and these and these beasts was created to be scavenger or clean up right so this thing is unclean to you and the most i say he changed not malachi 3 and 6 he changed not right so this um pastor G gino jenin is a deceiver right and the most I deceive him. So the most I deceive him so he could deceive these other simple minded jakes in that church. Y'all are a pack of dummies. Right? And if y'all don't repent, the most I gonna destroy each and every one of you and your whole family. Because y'all are a pack of dummies. Right? The most I see change not. Right? This is um Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if a prophet be deceived when he had spoken a thing. I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Yeah, the most I deceive you, Pastor Jenin, Gino Jenin, and your whole congregation. Your whole, the most I deceive you all because there is abomination to the most I. It's a bunch of reprobates inside it. Right? A set of hypocrites. This is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if the prophet, and if a prophet be deceived when he had spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet and will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. This will be the most I can do to you, Pastor G Gino Jenin, and your whole congregation. The most I gonna destroy you after you don't repent and turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and try to follow this law to your best ability. You're under grace. Grace is grace, grace is to keep the law. You gotta keep the law to your best ability. Right, and with that, Obis lesson was edifying. We want to give our praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule a great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams and the four candy to push in the glass when it's sincere and truth shallow one.